A breakthrough in research on cures for several diseases like Alzheimer's could depend on a rare group of primates in danger of extension. Lemurs and humans have important gen genetic similarities. Who knew that? But the creature's survival is at risk from major threats like deforestation and climate change. Deborah Pata visited a national park in Madagascar, an island off of Africa, where she got a firsthand look. She's now in Johannesburg with more on this story. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. To you. Madagascar is the only place in the world where lemurs exist in the wild. And while it was thrilling to see them up close, staring right back at us, it was also devastating to observe how climate change is threatening their existence. Six hours of hiking in the Ranamafana rainforest, we finally spotted one of the rarest animals in the world, a Sufaka lemur, one of only 2,000 left. Anthropologist Pat Wright from New York's Stony Brook University told us that lemurs share many of the same genes as humans. She's turned the island's national park into a science lab and has been studying lemurs for 30 years. Kind of ironic that an animal that is on the verge of extinction could hold the key to so many life-threatening diseases. That's really true. It's like burning a library. There are over 100 different species, including the mouse lemur, our smallest cousin. On the mouse lemurs, why do they hold such importance for us? Because they get some of the same diseases that we get. Alzheimer's is top of Wright's list. Her team has embedded computer chips in hundreds of lemurs so they can monitor the development of Alzheimer's for an average of 20 years. She's built a genetic data bank from her research and her hope is it will lead to new drugs one day. But it is a race against time. Lemurs cannot survive without forests and 95% of the lemurs' natural habitat outside this park is gone. Researchers bait traps to lure the mouse lemurs inside. Each one is weighed and measured. They're looking for early signs of disease or weight loss. Once the tests are over, the lemurs are released unharmed back into the wild. But now they are facing a new threat. Madagascar has been hard hit by extreme changes in weather, strong cyclones, severe drought, then torrential rain. And this year, Wright told us, the fruit trees that are the lemurs' main food source did not flower. This has never happened before. For the lemurs, it's devastating because it means they can't get fat enough to actually produce offspring. And they probably won't starve, but they certainly are going to go hungry. Wright is fearful the devastating changes to the island spell the end of her lemurs. Madagascar itself is like the canary in the coal mine. This island is very vulnerable, and so climate change makes a, a bigger impact here. Now that canary in the coal mine that Pat Wright spoke about is sending a very strong warning indeed. Only 47% of the baby lemurs we saw survived beyond six months, and that was 70% just three years ago. Nora? All right, Deborah Pata in Johannesburg. Thank you. It really sparks this debate, too, mm -hmm. about what we can learn from wildlife mm -hmm. and these lemurs. Who knew? Yeah. yeah. That they can hold the Deborah Pata. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. I wanted yeah. to, so it, but it I, was interesting. It had yeah. me Googling Madagascar, too, where apparently 90% of the wildlife there is found nowhere else mm -hmm. on Earth. It's a biodiversity hotspot. Yeah. More than a well, movie. I've always wanted to go there, go. though. Yeah. Yeah. Facing danger from go. climate change, yeah. Field trip. <laughs>